Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm diving into some advanced Excel functions to enhance your data filtering techniques. This topic was inspired by an insightful comment on one of my recent videos titled how to compare two lists and find missing values in Excel using filter and count if. Now in that video, I used the formula which is currently displayed on the screen, a formula consisting of filter and count if in order to find missing values between two lists. While this formula was effective, it could be computationally intensive, especially with larger data sets. Now if you haven't watched that video yet, the link is available in the description box. So the person who left that comment suggested a more efficient alternative, and that viewer proposed using xmatch instead of count if and this is the exact comment that count if is heavy why not use is number with x match and this is the proposed formula now this observation is incredibly valuable and leads us into a discussion on optimizing excel for better performance so today i'm going to explore this formula and find out how x match can speed up the process of filtering unique values from one list that do not appear in another list so we have two data sets, one column consisting of invited people, and the second data set is a column consisting of people who actually attended. In other words, we want to generate a list of people who were absent based on these two fields, that is the invited field and the attended field. Uh, in my previous video, I used the filter and count if formula, and that formula worked fine. Today, I'm gonna be using filter along with xmatch. And here's how that formula works. So that formula is currently displayed on the screen. And I'm going to apply it to this field over here. So the formula is as follows. Equal sign, filter, open parentheses. First, we'll select our first array, which is the invited list. So it's going to be this range over here in column A, followed by a comma. Then I'm going to put in not, open parentheses, is number. And I'm going to explain this in detail a little bit later on. For right now, I'm just going to input the formula. X match, open parentheses. And I'm going to put the invited list again. That is column A. And followed by comma. And then the list of people who actually attended in column B. Comma, zero. Then I am going to end with closing parentheses. As so. And there we go. As easy as that, we have a list of everyone who's been absent. I didn't even need to drag this formula down. Since this is a filter formula, it just generates as soon as I enter the formula in the first cell of the range. And as you can see, this formula has correctly returned list of everybody who's been absent. That is everybody who's in the invited list, but not in the attended list. Now that I apply the formula, I'm going to briefly explain how this formula works and the various components of this formula. So this formula consists of a number of parts. I'm going to start from the most inner parts of the formula. That is the match component. So first of all, the X match function checks each item in list A that is in column A over here to see if it can find a match in list B that is in column B. If it does find a match, it gives us the position of the match in list B. If it doesn't find anything, it simply says it couldn't find it, which in Excel terms is an error. So I'm going to go ahead and only apply the X match part in a cell to show you how that X match functions by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this part. I'm going to put it in this cell over here. So yeah, name it X match. There we go. There we go. So you can see this X match returns NAs whenever there's no match. And whenever there is a match, it returns the position of the match within list B. For example, D Wallace is in the first row of list B. That's why one has been returned here. And Sid Hegg is in the 10th cell of list b that's why 10 is returned here so that's what the x match does and this is very interesting and whenever we don't have a match of course an na is returned and these are the absent people so that's what the x match does now let's talk about what the is number part does that is this part over here the is number function checks if the result from the x match is a number or an error and if it's not a number obviously 
it means there is no match. Now I'm going to apply the as is number as well to demonstrate exactly how that works. So I'm going to copy this part and then I'm going to put it here. So I'll call this is number part right here. There you go. So you can see whenever we have a match, we get true. And whenever we don't have a match, we get false. So that's what the is number part of this formula does. Now let's move on to the not part. We use the not function right over here to flip the results. So if is number says yes, and it's a number, not turns that into a no. And if is number says no, that is, it's not a number, not turns that into a yes. Now uh, let's uh, apply that part too to give you a better understanding of what the not part of the formula does. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the not part, everything that comes after not in this column here. And you don't have to do the, all of this. Obviously, I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. The formula in cell C2 would uh, suffice in this case. So there we go. So you can see we flipped everything basically. That is whenever the value is false and there is not a match between the two lists, it turns that false into a true. The not basically flips everything since the is number returns false and true based on whether it's an NA or a number, the not basically flips everything. So it's very simple. And last but not least, we have the filter part, which is at the beginning of the formula and it surrounds the entire formula and everything we just explained. When the filter function takes over, it uses the results from the not is number x match setup, which I just explained, and it keeps only items in list A where the result was yes, meaning those that did not find a match in list B. And that's what this final formula over here does. It returns only things in which the result of this final formula over here is true. That is, these values. Those are the ones that are returned. And that's how it works. Now you can see how this filter is number x match formula works. And it does the exact same thing as the filter count if. However, it is a much more efficient formula compared to using filter with count if, especially when you're using very large data sets. This could be much faster and it can prevent your spreadsheet from getting slow, especially if you have a lot of formulas similar to this and you're dealing with large data sets. So the result is you end up with a list of names that are unique to list A, which do not appear in list B. So in conclusion, while COUNTIF is a stable option for counting how many times a specific condition is met across a data set, it can be quite resource intensive, especially with larger data sets. And this is because the COUNTIF formula needs to assess every instance within the range to compute a count. And therefore, making this filter x match formula a much more efficient formula and a much better option. That said, another big thank you to our viewer and commenter for the amazing tip and the formula which led to the creation of this video. Feel free to post any other comments and also video suggestions. All comments are welcome. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If yes, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. That's all for today. Bye now.